proud to say we're finally moving into our own home. After three months of construction, we were able to build this wonderful 19 foot tall dwelling. This video I'm recording in the beginning of September and only in April all that you see behind me did not exist. This was all barren empty piece of land. It has been an empowering experience constructing it with my own hands. Today, I'd love to inspire you with my story that started just five and a half months ago, whilst the snow was still falling. It is hard to believe, but at the age of 42, I'm finally going to be moving into my own proper size home that I didn't have to take any loan from the bank for. In the first two years after I have relocated from South Africa to Russia, I would wake up with a heart palpitating in fear, panic attacks, really scared of being kicked out of my own home because that's what I was living like in South Africa whilst I was paying to the bank for 12 and a half years. Up until that point the, the, the fear is almost constantly chasing after you. It's like a living entity, um, like an egregor or a living entity that's like <gasps> and that's what's happened after living for quarter of a century in a capitalistic world. Although I had a really nice business and i felt like i was you know doing really well um in reality i felt like i was homeless already then because three months overdue on the payment and you get kicked out without further ado the capitalistic system is so hard it's trying to pay off debt it's a constant rat race and finally i'm out of this and i can just enjoy myself without having this fear of being kicked out onto the streets and you see it happening left right and center and in the capitalistic world but here besides the point that you can get a house for 500 dollars out in nature uh, you know with garden and everything and two hectares of land but even here close by to st petersburg we purchased an incredible piece of land and built our home, own home very affordably without much um, investment really on a shoestring budget Out of the five months, I was building only for three of them and now that the outer skin is closed and the roof is insulated, we're about to put in the insulation on the front and back walls. Sure, there's still a bit of finishing touches, but it is warm inside. Running the water and electrical can all be done whilst we're living in our home. We're also renting a flat nearby so that we can still wash ourselves. For those of you who like the details, here is how we turn $5,000 worth of materials into this wonderful abode. In March, I got a shipping container and got an excavator to prepare a driveway. In two days, an excavator piled up and leveled a sand slab to raise the future home from the wet ground. The sand we got from our own land as well, which saved us from purchasing 30 truckloads 
Just a reality check, in our country one and a half truckloads of sand equals one full day of a large excavator rental with an operator. In April we got a curvy Hyper Adobe walls build, manufactured the arched beams, connected them into the roof trusses and placed them on the walls. I know wood is costly in some countries and hence at our upcoming course I will be sharing how throwaway plywood can be used to construct these same trusses. In May we covered the arches in timber, installed the 4 inch insulation and covered the roof with metal sheeting. Once again the throwaway polystyrene can be chopped up and mixed with acre to create lightweight bricks for insulation. In June, I scavenged for second-hand glazing and installed all the windows. Purchasing them second-hand allowed me to save a few thousand dollars as I got them 5 to 10 times cheaper than new ones. For example, these two new triangles cost me $500 and these two slightly smaller second-hand ones cost me only $50. All second-hand windows came in double or triple glazed, especially for the northern climate. In July, I got all the underground piping installed, such as fresh geothermally preheated incoming air, fresh water inlet and sewer, as well as the grey water outlets. Once the pipes were installed, we poured the floor slab. I did the first coat myself and got a professional to do the second coat. In August we built walls for additional two arch homes and ran a small international workshop where we built this egg and bend a few of the arches for the next vault. You can watch a full video about our workshop by clicking this button. Here are seven new beams ready for Zoya's mom's home. I did not use any glue to make them, just nails and four bolts. These new set of arches on a one meter high stem wall will give us a whopping 20 foot tall double story home. Much was learned and perfected on these new beams. I prepared a fallen down log with a chainsaw and mounted it on the wall next to the current arch for the second home. I also made some shelves and a kitchen table from plywood. In our upcoming course I will share with you how to design and cut such counters in no time.
Look at that abundance. Look at that. Blueberries and black blackberries or what are they called? Look at that abundance. And this is right outside our door. And it's full of it. The forest is full. How's that? Alfresco cappuccino. Mm -hmm. Now in September, we plastered the walls and Zoe is busy finishing up the final render. The tubing for the electrical already placed in the walls. I also made an awning to stop the rain from splashing the bottom part of the home. I covered it with plastic for now, but metal sheeting will come in as soon as the budget will become available. I haven't worked a lot with timber prior to a year ago, and thus I'm proud to say that anyone who wants a home can build it. During this summer, I recorded over 160 gigabytes worth of detailed footage explaining every step of the process. I will be editing it one lesson per week as from the end of September. Thus, I invite you to join me in our Duo Vaults video class where you're going to learn how to build such a home with just one other person person in three months all for five thousand dollars the class will commence with a graph paper drafting lesson where we'll draw a 400 square foot home that stands on a 150 square foot foundation thus fitting in below the building code radar in the second lesson i will show you how to model this 150 square foot vault in a 3d program thereafter we will proceed with all the construction lessons starting from foundations and finishing with this hyper adobe masonry oven that will heat your floor without any power Pipes. And that's not all. For those of you who want to build a hidden underground home, I will show you how we constructed this hobbit shelter for less than a thousand dollars on all the materials. The cost of our upcoming training with five live Zoom support sessions is 200 bucks. We will be kicking off on the 16th of September with our other bioarchitecture drafting class students. Then they'll head off much deeper into modeling the home on paper and in 3D whilst we continue to build the two vaulted homes. I look forward to be meeting you all very soon. The next class will happen in one year's time. Warmest from Northern Russia. Добро пожаловать. A good welcome. Finally, I'm waking up and I'm realizing I have my own home and nobody will kick me off my property because we didn't take any loan to acquire this home or the land that it's standing on. Only now I can say that after four years of living in a non-capitalistic country, I have transformed my anxiety with a lot of inner work into this feeling of inner peace. Thank you.